The transistors explained. The transistors. Transistors are semiconductor devices with three leads, a very small current or voltage at one lead can control a much larger current flowing through the other two leads. Transistors can be used as amplifiers and switches. There are two main families of transistors. Bipolar transistor and field effect transistor. Bipolar transistor. Add a second junction to a PN junction diode and you get a three-layer silicon sandwich. The sandwich can be either NPN or PNP. The middle layer acts like a gate that controls the current moving through the three leads. Bipolar transistor operation. The three layers of a bipolar transistor are the emitter, base, and collector. The base is very thin and has fewer doping atoms than the emitter and collector. Therefore a very small, emitter, base current will cause a much larger emitter, collector current to flow. The resistors protect the transistor too much current which can cause excessive heat. More about bipolar transistor operation. Diodes and transistors share several key feature. 1. The base emitter junction, or diode, will not conduct until the forward voltage exceeds 0.6 volts. 2. Too much current will cause a transistor to become hot and operate improperly, if a transistor is hot when touched, disconnect the power to it. 3. Too much current or voltage may damage or permanently destroy the semiconductor chip that forms transistor. If the chip isn't harmed its tiny connection wires may melt or separate from the chip. Never connect a transistor backwards. Kinds of transistors Many different kinds of transistors are available. Here are examples of the most important transistors. Small and signal switching transistors Small signal transistors are used to amplify low-level signals. Switching transistors are designed to be operated, full-on, or off. Some transistors can both amplify and switch equally well. Power transistor Power transistors are used in high-power amplifiers and power supplies. Large size amp exposes metal surfaces, keep them cool. High-frequency transistors High-frequency transistors operate at radio, television and microwave frequencies. The base region is very thin and the actual chip is very small. These are the bipolar transistor symbols. Transistor and PN stands for never points in. While the transistor PNP stands for points in permanently. How bipolar transistors are used. When the base of an NPN transistor is grounded, zero volts, no current flows from the emitter to the collector, the transistor is off. If the base is forward biased by at least 0.6 volt, a current will flow from the emitter to the collector, the transistor is on. When operated in only these two modes, the transistor function as a switch if the base is forward biased, the emitter collector current will flow variations in a much smaller base current. The transistor then functions as an amplifier. This discussion applies to a transistor in which the emitter is the ground connection for both the input and output and is called the common emitter circuit. This is how the common emitter circuit is used in real circuits. Only two inputs are possible ground, 0 volts, and the positive battery voltage, TV. Therefore the transistor is off or on. A typical base resistance is 5000 to 10000 ohms. If the resistor is placed by wire, the lamp can be switched on or off from a considerable distance. A bipolar transistor DC amplifier. This is how a bipolar transistor DC amplifier is used. A bipolar transistor DC amplifier. The variable resistor forward biases the transistor and controls the input current, 
The meter indicates the output current. The series resistor protects the meter from excessive current. In a working circuit, the variable resistor may be in series with a second component having a resistance that varies with temperature, light, moisture, etc. Water is the variable resistance in the moisture meter, when the input signal changes rapidly, an AC amplifier is used. A bipolar transistor AC amplifier. Schematic circuit. Bias resistor and load resistor. The input capacitor. The load resistor causes the output current to become a voltage. The wave represents the DC in signal. This is the simplest of several basic AC amplifiers. The input capacitors blocks any DC in the input signal. This is the amplified output signal. This represents the DC bias level. Its output signal is inverted. The bias resistor is selected to give an output voltage of about half the battery voltage. The amplified signal rides on this steady output voltage, and varies above, and below it. Without the bias resistor, only the positive half of the input signal above 0.6 volt will be amplified. This will cause severe distortion. To see one-way working version of this amplifier is used. 